Okay, now we go to the super mood default page control the 18. So the next one will be the first one, the page zero. So we're back to the 18. So the good thing is this page, if you power off and power on again, it can remember that you use the last time. So how about the PC 20? What does it do? Let's see PC control. So it's quite simple. We have 10 PC control now. So this is 10, how we see it's 20. Because each button like this one, if you hit it twice, the second time, it goes to the plus 10, 12. So this one, three, the next time, 13. And this one, four, the next time, 14. So you may ask if I go to this one and go back, it will always back to the initial state. So let's see each button has two states, the initial state and the, the second state. The second state, you can go to another preset. Every time you go to another one and go back, it will return to the initial state. So it helps you to remember what you can do with this kind of function. You can store some of your presets, like for this button, you have two presets, presets PC1 and PC11. You can make PC1 a baseline, like clean, but uh, 11, it's the same kind of signal chain, but has higher gain. So. It's a, like a super clean and a clean crunch. So a low gain, a high gain, anything you want. You can arrange it like this. You have access to 20 presets by 10 foot switch. That's the whole idea. You have to set the LED color as select. In this way, when this has a multi times, you can send like a multi times, like a not, uh, you can even go to three or four times. But if you know, you go from the state two to state three, and then you go to another button and go back. So there's two situations. One is it will go back to the initial state. The second scenario is goes resum. It continue goes from the previous like two to three. So we're not, it remembered its previous state when you hit another button and go back. In that way, you just select the LED color as normal, not a select. So that's the whole tips. And this is the page 18.